The sun is hot. Well, yeah, because it's the sun. But this atmosphere is too hot. What's going on? Hello, I'm Ian O'Neill, space producer for Discovery News, and today I want to take you on a journey deep into the sun's atmosphere. As you'd expect, the sun's atmosphere, or the solar corona, is hot. But it's too hot, a problem that solar physicists have been trying to solve for decades. In fact, my own solar physics PhD was based on the very same solar conundrum. From observations, we know that the sun's outer layer, the photosphere, is around 6,000 degrees Kelvin or Celsius. We also know that the core of the sun is a nuclear furnace bubbling away at tens of millions of degrees. So you'd expect the sun's corona to be cooler than the photosphere since it's further away from the core, right? Wrong. Just above the photosphere is the chromosphere, which extends into the lower corona and something weird happens. The temperature of the coronal plasma skyrockets to millions of degrees. This just makes no logical sense and seems to violate some pretty hefty laws of thermodynamics. If you put your hand next to a light bulb, you wouldn't expect that as you move your hand away from the bulb that the air would get hotter. But with the sun, as you leave the photosphere and enter the corona, that's exactly what happens. It gets hotter, not cooler. So what's going on? And perhaps most importantly, why should we care? The first theory is that magnetic waves from the sun's interior ripple through the corona like vibrations along a guitar string and resonate with the solar plasma. We've observed these waves in the corona and we have a pretty good idea that they have a significant heating effect, but that's not the whole story. Another heating mechanism could be down to countless explosions in the corona, known as nano flares. Although they are tiny when compared with the X-class flare that caused a radio blackout on Earth earlier this month, nano flares certainly aren't insignificant. Each nano flare is thought to explode with the energy of 240 megatons of TNT, which is the equivalent of 10,000 nuclear weapons going off at once, and that's just one nano flare. Regardless of how active the sun is, countless millions of these eruptions are thought to be crackling in the corona all the time, undoubtedly cooking the sun's atmosphere. But how much cooking is going on? Researchers are now turned to NASA's New Star X-ray Observatory for help. New Star is designed to look for the highest energy X-rays generated in the furthest reaches of the universe by black holes and other crazy energetic phenomena. It just so happens that, by pure luck, New Star is also finely tuned to detect the X-ray signature of nanoflares inside the sun's corona. Early New Star results have produced some of the most beautiful images in modern astronomy, proving that nanoflares crackle throughout the corona. Only time will tell whether these nano explosions have the oomph to bake the corona to millions of degrees. But why does all this matter? Space weather is born deep inside the corona. Solar flares erupt and huge bubbles of magnetized plasma called coronal mass ejections are launched from this region. The more we understand the corona, the better we can understand how the sun's most violent explosive events impact Earth. After all, solar storms are known to knock out satellites, garble communications, and even knock out entire power grids. Wouldn't it be nice to properly get to know where and why these eruptions are born? What's your favorite solar mystery? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more D-News every day of the week.